Okay. Thanks for coming. Um, I'm going to tell you about CS 462, and it's also co-held with the Grad Course 662, which is formal languages and parsing. And I know many of you probably haven't taken 360 or 365 yet. Is that right? How many people have taken it? No one? Okay. So. This is a course that follows 360 and 365. And I know you have to think in advance now. It's probably a year or two away. But if you take 360 and 365, which is the theory of computation, if you take either one of those courses, then I encourage you seriously to think about, in your fourth year, taking CS 462. Uh, it's a course that basically looks at the material that you saw in 360 or 365 and looks at it in greater depth. So we look at maybe a few of the same topics, but we also look at new topics and the topics that you already have seen, we look in much greater depth than you had before. So if this is a course for people who like solving problems, who like uh, doing proofs, who like uh, thinking about uh, uh, open problems, we, I present some open problems in the course and from time to time some students do solve them and get papers out of them. It's happened a couple of times. Um, so uh, there's, a, there's a lot of material uh, that, that is accessible to undergraduates. You don't have to know much, you just have to be clever. And finally we also talk about parsing. So if you're interested in programming languages and compilers, we talk about the theoretical basis behind the methods that you learn for those. So um, we, we discuss a lot of different topics in the course. One of them is two A's problem. This is a classic problem about strings of symbols. It asks, can you generate arbitrarily long words, or arbitrarily long strings of symbols, in which no two consecutive blocks are the same? And it's easy to convince yourself that if you just have two different symbols, you can't do this. But if you have three symbols, it turns out that you can. And so we talk about uh, how to do this. And, and uh, this is a very old problem in, in strings of symbols. We talk about regular languages. And we talk about advanced closure properties of them. We talk about different models of computation, like two-way DFAs, where the DFA can move uh, both left and right on the tape head. We talk about the myhill the road theorem. We talk about context-free grammars. And we talk about topics that are frequently covered in 360 and 365, like inherently ambiguous uh, languages. But you don't see the proofs. In 462, you see the proofs. And we talk about various parsing methods. We talk about um, deterministic context-free languages. Basically, every programming language today is a deterministic context-free language. And we talk about other interesting language classes. Um, and finally, we, we often cover the two-way DPDAs, which has a really fantastic theorem called Cook's theorem. You might know the name Steve Cook, the inventor, one of the inventors of uh, the concept of NP-completeness. And uh, in a little-known paper, he showed that if you, you can program up a problem on a model called a 2 DPDA, then it has a linear time algorithm, that problem. And so one particular example of this is string searching. You can implement string searching on a 2 DPDA, and immediately you get that you can do string searching in linear time. Um, OK, so the course is only offered in the winter. And typically, there are 10 assignments, one a week, with just a, a small number of problems on each one. There's no midterm. There is a famous take-home final. People who, have, people who have had the take-home final still speak of it with reverence, <laughs> uh, those that are, that are still alive. Um, and that's worth 40% of the mark. If you're a grad student, you do a little extra work. And the textbook for the course is this one. The author is uh, a well-known jerk, but, uh, <laughs> but the book is good. And the cover is done by Waterloo's own Craig Kaplan. So, um, so anyway, I want to encourage you to think about 462. It's a, typically a small course with just uh, between 10 and 20 students. It's very intimate. Everybody knows everybody else. And we have a great time. So I hope you'll consider it in the future. Thank you.